intro. <laughs> All right, goodbye, Ragnar. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I am going to be finally doing a cosplay video. Meaning to do one since I posted a video of my 2020 cosplans, and this is the first video I'm hoping of many um, getting into those cosplays mentioned in that video. The character I'm getting in today is Feyre Archuren from the book series A Court of Thorns and Roses. The series is written by Sarah J Moss and she has just recently announced the title of the spin-off series of some secondary characters, which we will also be discussing later on while I'm getting into the cosplay makeup. Okay, so to start, I have been at work all day. I still have makeup on, I have not taken it off yet, so I'm gonna get that off, wash my face, and start with a clean slate to, uh, you know, obviously get into this makeup. Oh, that feels really good. My face is really hot. It's really hot in here. Five. Oh no, that's six. I can't count. I count for a living and I can't count these. Personally, to start, I like to put my hair up into my wig cap before I even start my makeup uh, when getting into cosplay because I don't want to risk messing up my face uh, when I am putting it on, if I were to try and put it on later. So I'm just gonna do that. I've not washed my hair today, so it looks like this. <laughs> All right, now since I am wearing a lace front wig, I am going to put a relatively neutral toned cap over this, but I have found that putting on an athletic headband, like one of these dry fit headbands um, over my wig cap, um, wicks up sweat, but it also just keeps it in place and yeah, it just, it feels more secure. So now because I'm wearing a lace front, I'm gonna put this nude, neutral cap over the black because I can't wear this. Um, it does not keep my hair contained. So that's why I need to do this first before putting this one on. All right, now that I am thoroughly an egghead and already have an itch, everything is nice and contained and flat and flawless as you are. Farrah's makeup is relatively um, simple. So you can start, I start with primer. Um, and then a lot of it, a lot of the um, challenge of this makeup is like, she's a fae. So she's flawless in every way. It has high angles to her face and I don't cause I have very pudgy cheeks, but we're gonna work with what we got. And through the power of makeup and friendship, we're gonna look relatively decent out of this. We, as in, me, unless you're doing this too. I don't know. I don't know why I keep pretending this is a, why do I keep talking like this is a tutorial? Have I made a tutorial? I kind of did. Eh, whatever. As I said earlier, if you have not read A Court of Thorns and Roses or read the novella, uh, A Court of Frost and Starlight, um, there's going to be some spoilers. Uh, some you may not care about, obviously like the version of Fair that I'm getting into is a um, is a spoiler because it's her Fae form. Oops, spoiled. Um, but yeah, so we're going to discuss the newest book that's coming out. I forgot what it's called. Um, I'll put up the Instagram post by the author Sarah J. Moffs, and then it will have the book title there. And it is um, the book about Cassian and Nesta. Now, when we last left Nesta in a court of frost and starlight, she was an alcoholic and was not wanting to join the family for the winter solstice event. And she was not in a good place and she was not doing well with being a high fae now. And it was honestly heartbreaking because you really hate her at the very beginning of the book and then you admire her for her resilience and then just the point where she can't, she doesn't want to be strong anymore. And she's just like, leave me alone in my little apartment to be an alcoholic. Why are you looking at me? You're 
pretty. <laughs> so, and that book heavily had heavy um, Cassian Nesta vibes. Um, definitely hinted at it. And this book is the one that we were hoping for. The next one that we, the next book in the series or the coming series, whatever, that we were hoping for, which was going to address their relationship. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm very, very excited. So I ran out of my normal concealer. So I am using my It Cosmetics one, which is the reason why I didn't use the other one. I didn't use this one is because it's full coverage. And I was having a lot of trouble with um, fine lines and it caking a lot. The lack of diversity with female characters in literature and on the movie screen um, is appalling. Um, but what I love about uh, Feyre's character is, and all the female characters within A Court of Thorns and Roses, is the diversity in the characters. They are all strong in their own way without compromising what makes them women. I have a cat hair up my nose and I can feel it. Get off, please, sir. I think that's angled enough. What's next? I don't even know. I guess I'll do bronzing next. I don't know why, but I will. So there are talks that the rights for um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, like movie making rights have been sold, have been given um, to someone in order to make a couture film. And I don't, there's black eyeshadow on this pen, <laughs> on this. This is why we clean our brushes, children. Cause... Okay, I'm gonna remove that and cry a little bit. And I couldn't tell see that it was there because the bristles are black. <laughs> Peach, I see your belly. Peach, you have a cute belly. <gasps> Thanks for cleaning me. She's purring now. All right, well that brush is useless. All right, I'm just gonna use my everyday brushes because I know where they've been. Last time I used these ones must have been when I did my Celestial Elf. All right, now that it is somehow 1 a.m., we're gonna finally get into the eyeshadow. We're gonna pack some shimmer in the corner and lighten some of this up. Okay, so the camera battery died. So instead of uh, waiting for it to recharge and then film the rest of the basic of just putting on blush and my lipstick and eyelashes and eyeliner, <laughs> I just went ahead and did that anyway, but I did save best for last, which is doing the arm tattoo, um, which was on left hand. And I'm just going to freehand this. I am using some water activated body paint that I got off of Amazon, Amazon, <laughs> off of Amazon. And aha, here it is. So I just have a little thing of water here. Just take an angle brush and you get it on there. Get a little bit of a wet patch. I've taken some inspiration from Pinterest. I'm just going to freehand starting. Hmm. How do I start? I'm going to start with my middle finger on this. Actually, I'm going to start with the ring finger on this finger. My nail is nicer on that one than on my middle finger. I don't even know how I'm going to do this to make sure that you can see it. Let me get it started. I'm scared. I wait, ideally I wanted alco alcohol activated paints, but they're very expensive and it's hard to get them in just one color. 
you'd have to get them in like a larger palette. And I didn't want to do that at this time. I'm just gonna do just freehand some vines. Just get creative with it. Will, can I draw on you? Sure. <laughs> Not right now, maybe later. Actually, no, come here. I want to draw like a cat on your hand or something. What do you want? Take a pick. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a cat. See, doesn't that feel good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> there, you've been branded forever. Actually, wait, 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 I'm not done yet. I am going to add a shadow in the ear. Now I'm done. <laughs> Peach, it's you! So normally I would set this with baby powder, but since I'm not planning on going out anywhere or having this on for much longer, I'm going to skip that part, but I would definitely recommend sealing your body paint. All right, I'm going to get my wig dress on and ears cannot forget the ears and then it's montage time So this is my favorite cosplay. I hope you enjoyed watching me get into this. I have many more of these planned with my other 2020 cosplay plans. I will link most of the products that I used down in the description box along with all my social media links. If you like this and want to keep up with what I'm creating, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, go follow me on Instagram. And I really appreciate you watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Sorts anyway. Girl? Girl? If it weren't for this girl, you would still be in the Horned King's dungeon. of depression and sadness in the name of our Lord and Savior Meryl Streep. Get out of here!